Hey everyone. Hi Julie. Hello. It's popping in. Let me see if I can get my sound up here. How many people people we have up with us so far? Um, Hi Fen. Travis, Brenda, Sue. Roll. Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me. Eric Jose. Deborah. Well, thanks for everyone for popping in. We have a 10 whole people so far. Maybe we'll get a few more. I know Saturday nights are probably tough. Some people have lives. I don't happen to be one of them though. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and one person dropped out already. Oh my goodness. Rude. I know. I haven't even said anything to piss anyone off yet. <laughs> <laughs> yet? Yet. Keyword. Yes. I don't I don't think anything you're gonna say tonight is gonna piss anyone off. No, it should not. We have mm -hmm. lots of good news tonight. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I just would get wait till a few more people are in here before I start talking about it. Okay, Thank well, you. I guess we'll just get started. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I just wanted to update everybody on the latest totals that we we got from from the donations for Mammothon. And I am very excited, very excited to announce that we raised with the donations, we raised a total of five thousand sixty nine dollars and eighty four cents. Yay. Yay. I was going to screen share. And I don't think it'll work because it never works for me, but I can try. We'll see. Can you see it? Uh, probably not. Did it, did, it already, did it already go off? I can see it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Um, yeah, yeah, everybody can see it. Oh, great. Okay, it's in my paint window, unfortunately. It's not a separate window. <laughs> but, you know, you get the, you get the gist of it. <laughs> Yay, I actually shared something that people could see, even though it keeps going in and out, but you get the gist of it. So $5,069.84, which is amazing, more than I ever could have thought we would have raised. Now, we did have to take the GoFundMe fees out of that. We um, withdrew that money today. So... Um, the GoFundMe fees were around, what was it, like $111, I believe, $111.22. Okay. Yeah, I didn't math it. I knew you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we also have to pay handling fees. Whenever you make a deposit through Access Corrections, they charge you a handling fee. And the more you deposit, the higher the handling fee is. So when all is said and done, the handling fees will be $139.10. So that means that the guys will be getting an even share of the total money raised. So each one of them will be getting 2,400, let me make sure I got this right, hold on, $2,409.76. Yes! Yay! That's so That's exciting. Awesome! Yeah, and, 2000 and yeah, two thousand four hundred and nine dollars and seventy six cents. So they are set with their commissary for at least a year now. <laughs> for a minute, yeah, yeah. And it would be great if they didn't need need to have all that and they didn't need to be there for a year. But the good thing is, is that if they do get out before then, that money is still theirs. So they get whatever's in their canteen. So they can. Uh, sorry, can't be here tonight. That's okay, Kathy. Okay, well, then watch later. <laughs> um, that any money that's in your canteen is uh, distributed to them when they are released. So if so, something happens and they get released within the next year, they still get that money. So no worries there. I also wanted to say a very big, huge, giant, amazing thank you to Ravi. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Ravi. 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 Uh, she was our largest donor 
and she very much surprised us because it came in after Marathon took place. She gave us a donation of $935, which is amazing. Wow. There's not a good enough word to say how amazing that is. $935. And I was going to try to have her on live with me to thank her, but she's in Australia. And so the time thing doesn't really work out great. But uh, but I still want to take a second minute to just say thank you so much. I want to thank all of the donors, everybody that donated. We, we thank you so much. But I did want to give a special shout out to uh, to her for giving us such a, an amazingly generous donation. It was incredible. And the uh, the hosts are actually going to um, be chipping in to send her something special for that. We didn't really plan on that, but um, we're going to do that for her because, uh, again, that was amazing. We were so thrilled to have four thousand dollars, and with her donation, it pushed us over five thousand dollars. Which and to think our original needed. goal was only two thousand. Yeah, our, our original <laughs> goal was two thousand, and after um, we started, and we got some pretty decent donations, amount of donations in the first hour. So then I thought, you know what? Let's just go for broke. Let's go big. <laughs> I said, let's try 4,000. And that seemed realistic at the time. But then as the weekend went on, things started dwindling a little bit. Saturday, things kind of went down a little bit. I'm like, oh boy, I might've been a little too crazy with that one. But then Saturday night, I have to say that during my live, I know it was great. I think there, I think we got like $800 or something like that on Saturday night. And then Sunday morning, uh, again, um, I think there was about seven, eight hundred dollars during my my live and Sunday morning. So I was like, wow, you know, that that was amazing. And then when Eric Jose was on for his final um, session there or segment there, um, we have to say thank you to a lot of people for helping us out, pushing with some incentives there. Um, I know that uh, was it Denise that offered the T-shirt? Yes. Yes. And then Mark um, offered to have a raffle. Yes. And then Henberry uh, um, offered to release a brand new evidence page document if we got to 4,000. So I have to thank all those people for really helping us with our final push to get to our goal. That was yeah. just so incredible. Ziggy also offered some bumper stickers oh, and okay. she also gave um, gift cards for Stacy's music to anybody who donated a certain amount. See, that is so awesome. It was such mm -hmm. a group effort. We were the ones on camera, but this was the, the very definition of a group effort. Um, it Again, it, it, it did exceed my expectations. When I came up with this crazy idea, you know, I knew it had the potential to be big. I knew that. But to see so many people from so many different parts of social media come together for this common cause and really share their, their wealth of knowledge, um, their passion for the case, um, their passion for justice was really so just overwhelming to me. It was really hard to, I think, digest at first. It, like it just didn't quite sink in that how many people actually participated and helped in, in, in some way, whether it be, you know, the hosts, the moderators who worked harder than the host did. Okay. <laughs> they definitely did. Um, the guests, the the people in the chat, you know, the people watching, the people that are just lurking and not actually chatting, the people that were sharing the links, sharing sharing about Mammothon. Everybody contributed, and it was an amazing success. And I am so proud to have been a part of it. I, I, I just, I, I'm almost speechless about the whole thing because when you really think about it and, and how much money we raise and how much awareness we spread and that, you know, it's, it's really quite, quite incredible. How many different countries participated? I thought that Paul might have actually broken that down at one time. He did. Yeah, he did. Was it 17 countries, I think, at one time? Something like that. And um, Paul also broke down. Hi, Chris. Um Paul also broke down for us the number of views that we've had um, on all of the live streams, as well as the individual segments that we've pulled out. And it was over 20, it's over 22,000 views. Now I know obviously some people watched all of them, but still 22,000 views of people talking about making a murder talking about the case, talking about Steve, talking about Brendan. 
um, that's a lot of people to reach, you know, all at one time. I know we have those numbers in the group sometimes, you know, but but not everybody checks, not everybody's paying that much attention, not everybody's that involved. And this was a lot, a lot of people, 22,000 people is a lot to reach. And so again, I, I just want to thank everybody for that. Um, Julie, do you have anything else to add? Uh, yes, actually, I, I have two things to add okay. um, as, as something that I wanted to say and something that Travis asked. Um, I just wanted to clarify that the um, the gifts that the hosts got together to send to Ravi, uh, those are not coming out of the donations. Those are things that were privately purchased. I just want to make sure that that's said so that everybody knows. Um, the second thing is Travis would like to would like for you to tell everyone again all of the things that they can purchase on their commissary with this money. <sighs> Thanks, Fen. Twenty-two thousand nine hundred twenty-seven views, to be exact. <laughs> Um, when when they um, buy things from the commissary, it's essentially everything that they are allowed to have, they have to purchase themselves. Now, neither one of them has a job right now. Brendan was moved, so he does not have a job right now. And Steve finished up his two years working in the kitchen. So until he's assigned another job, he's not working. And even when they do work, they get something like 14 cents an hour or something. I don't know the exact amount, but it's ridiculous. They are expected to purchase all of their um, personal items, whether it be clothes, um, shoes, if they want anything in their cell, their TV, the radio, um, the headphones, um, their, um, at least the other clothes that they buy, the shirts, underwear, socks, um, hygiene items. And they have to replace those every six months. So that includes, um, or no, wait, maybe it's every, no, it's less than that. It's like every two months or something. Yeah, 60 days, 60 days, they have to replace all their hygiene items. So that includes toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, shampoo, all of that stuff. Um, now with Brendan having a tablet, he also he has to use commissary money if he wants to buy anything for his tablet, like credits for email. Um, if he, he has to get credits to download music, to download games, to download movies. And he's very excited about being able to watch movies now. So those all take money. And again, when you're working and you're making you know, just pennies an hour, it's uh, it's really hard to be able to uh, afford to do those things. Legal slavery, yeah, it pretty much is. And that's why um, what Brendan is now, he also has to pay for um, the meals if somebody comes to visit him. Um, Brenda, can inmates decline to work? Yes, they don't have to work, but if you want a single cell, you have to have a job. You're gonna have a cellmate if you do not work. Whereas Steve uh, um, obviously likes being on, in his own cell. Brendan was in Columbia. I believe right now he has to share until he has a a, um, a job. I, I don't quote me on that. I'm not positive, but I think that's how it works. Uh, Steve is still in a single cell for now um, until <sighs> how how long is it before he has to get a job again? He told me, and I just don't remember. Um, but yeah, but that's the biggest that's the biggest reason to work because obviously the money is not going to do anything. The biggest reason to work is if you want to have your own cell. Where you don't have to share it with a, a cellmate. Um, Travis asked me to mention that I created a playlist on YouTube that has all of the live streams in sequential order so that they will just play automatically. You can just you click can the link. 48 hours straight. 48 <laughs> hours straight. I posted it in, in chat just a minute ago. It's um, the link is there, so that way okay. you can just go there and it'll just it'll just play. So awesome. You watch if you missed anything, you can watch it over. You can have it on in the background as you are um, doing the dishes or driving to work or or whatever. Right, and it's technically more than forty eight hours because that last segment we were on for an hour longer. Yeah, Eric Rosa just said the same thing. Nine hours. Yeah, yeah, we went a little forty eight more hours. Finn, <laughs> Finn's trying <laughs> to kill us. 48 <laughs> let's do this another 48 hours you know i was thinking about it and you know i said that we could probably do it no problem um and the next time we do it at least until next year um we would not do it as a fundraiser which would probably make things easier on everybody because especially the mods who are posting the links for the fundraiser like every two minutes <laughs> in the chats so if we could just do it more laid back and just not have to have that pressure of trying to raise some money 
um, then yeah, um, that probably would be a, a lot, it probably would be a lot more fun for us, I think. Not quite so anxious. Let me see. Uh, I have somebody asked some questions here and I just missed it. I was copying them down, but okay. I'll let you. This is the most talked about event I have seen in this case outside of the rally. I think it's been talked about more than the rally, to be honest. <laughs> I've seen more about it than the rally, but yeah. Uh, Russell, thank you. On the tablet, is he only allowed what the put in for those to him to watch? Like, no, no, he, this is the thing, he doesn't actually have access to the internet per se, you know, so it's only what they allow him to be able to download from their library or whatever it is. Um, they, they don't have access as far as being able to look at whatever they want. Obviously he can email, but the emails go through the prison system. So it's not, again, like he has access to the internet, like what we would think of. Um, and then I saw another question about that too, that went along with that. Um, yeah, they are limited for what, to what they can watch. Brendan sent me a list of movies he had watched and what he wanted to watch. Can he email to anyone? Um, no, no, not exactly. He can, if he wants to, he has to send an invite out to you um, in order to add you to his contact list. And understandably, um, he's very, um, I hate to say it this way, but he's very care like selective about how many people he gives his email because he would be flooded with emails if, if we just put it out there for everybody or if he added anybody that wanted to be added. And even now, he's very he's very slow answering the emails because I think he already gets more than he want, he can handle. <laughs> so because you know, unfortunately, email is just so much easier than sending an actual letter. And when you think about the fact that they were getting, you know, at one point, you know, 50, 60 letters a day through the mail, can you imagine what that number would be like over email? <laughs> He'd be getting hundreds of emails every day, even more than that. Uh, somebody asked how expensive the items are. You'd have to look at the the catalog, but they're just like normal prices like what we would pay if you went and bought a pair of you know shoes they're not like designer shoes or anything but some cheap cheap tennis shoes you know or toothbrush toothpaste all that stuff it'd be similar to what we pay now brendan did say that um oh, I, I was sort of talking about this before and i changed directions um that when brendan gets visitors he has to pay for the meals now it's not like before where um anybody that came to visit just brought change for vending they have actual meals they sit down and eat and they brendan that comes out of brendan's commissary now brendan even said that the prices are pretty cheap for what you get but the reason that is is that the kitchen is run by the inmates it's again so what you're saying before about cheap labor of course the prices can stay low because you're really not paying any of the the help you know that's working there but they are good but it's nice because it also it's offering training in culinary arts i guess you could say too to some of the inmates that are interested in that. And last time Brendan emailed me, he said, because he's still, you know, he's just, he hasn't been there long, that he wanted the steak and the chicken nuggets and shrimp and French fries <laughs> and a soda and ice cream. That was gonna be his meal. I'm hungry now. <laughs> and then afterward he said his stomach hurt. <laughs> oh. I was like, I wasn't surprised. That's a lot of food, but he hasn't had that stuff. He hasn't been able to have some of that stuff in 13 years. I know he was, Carla was saying on my last live that he was so excited to eat lasagna because he hadn't had lasagna since he was put in prison. And so that's why when I was talking then about donations, um, that's why I was saying that's why we're doing this because they don't get much to be excited about. So if Brendan's excited about being able to eat a steak or to watch a movie, then I want to help him be able to do that. Anything that can even bring the tiniest bit of joy to him. And same with Steve. If, you know, anything that can just make their lives a little bit more bearable in a very terrible situation um, is worth it to me. And, um, and that's why it's so amazing that so many people donated. And yeah, it's a lot of money. And that's actually enough that even if Steve spent the, um, the limit of what he can spend on Canteen, it would be about $2,100 and we're donating $2,400. So, so that's great because he's he's set for a year, which was kind of my goal. And that's why I said, maybe next year, then we'll do it again. You know, and he'll be set for another year if he's still there. Hoping not. But in that 
type of situation, or in that case, you know, the fact that we can help them out a little bit and make things a little bit easier so they can get what they need um, means a lot. It means a lot to them, means a lot to me. So um, that's really about it with that. Right, Linda? Yeah, Fen yeah, same thing. It's like, just what can we do? We can't do much for them. We can talk about the case, but but overall, we we can't really do much for them. And this was something we could do for them. We're out here every day. And, and even though Steve and Brendan know that people are out here talking every day about their case, I don't think they can fully grasp the, you know, the, how big it is and how much time people and actually spend on this case because that's something they can't see. That's something that's not, um, you know, you can't quantitate, you know, it's not, well, okay, I can't even say, you can't measure it, let's put it that way. <laughs> I was gonna say quantitative, but I don't know. Um, that's something that can't they can't measure. They can only go by what people tell them. And since both of them were incarcerated before social media was even really a thing, a big thing, you know, there was AOL, whatever, but it wasn't like this. MySpace. So, yeah, MySpace was even probably, <laughs> MySpace is still probably even in its infancy. Uh-huh. Uh, it's not something, no matter how many times you explain it to them, I don't think it's something they can fully understand. And so when I'll tell Steve, like, you know, like everybody on Reddit, Twitter, face, all these Facebook groups, we're all talking about it. I still don't think they really fully appreciate how much time and how much effort people put into this. So this was, again, a way to measure how many people I can say we have 22,000 people to almost 23,000 people that watched or tuned in to hear about your case. And then they donated this money so that you can have, you know, you can have what you need while you're there. And Travis said, I still don't even understand it. Yeah, that's true. It is very hard. And so you have to try to imagine what it's like being completely cut off from that from the internet, from, you know, all this, and, and trying to understand what it is, because it's crazy. <laughs> the internet and social media is crazy. You know, you can't, it's, it's really hard to understand it, even when you're in it every day, when you're using it every day. So when you've never used it, you've never been exposed to it, it's really hard to understand. And, and I know Steve, Brendan probably has a better understanding because he's a little bit younger. Steve struggles with the understanding of the internet. <laughs> I laugh because there's some funny things that have been said, but um, yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, it's just great to have a way, you know, in a value that we can show them and say, hey, look what, look what we did. Look what all these people did for you. It is not so <laughs> well said, Linda. One other thing I wanted to mention is that I put a link in the description to a, the Zazzle store where Julie designed some um, Mammothon items for people if they would like to have a memento of some sort for Mammothon. As you can see, I'm wearing my shirt. I also have a couple more things I bought just to celebrate the occasion. I have a keychain that I got, and then I got a tote bag because, you know, I can never have enough tote bags. See, Mammothon, it's on both Yay. sides. And this tote bag is huge. It's actually really, really big. Oh, so awesome. I, will, I will have that at the rally with me to carry all my stuff in. And there are a lot of other items on there. There are obviously more t-shirts or diff different designs or coffee mugs. Well, Julie, what else is on there? Because you did this. <laughs> there are keychains. There are coffee mugs, like you said. There is. There's a mouse pad. There. Um, let me. Let me actually pull it up, and I can. I can tell you. Um, there are ties, like neckties, that you can wear. Which air that you know needs, of course. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that. That's actually why I put them together because he. He was like, "Ooh, I'd really like a tie." I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So um, so we have that. And we have items that have the Mammothon logo and the Cozy Wrecking Crew logo. So if you go and, and take a look, you'll be able to see all the different, different items that are there. Um, the tote bag, the travel mug, um, and the coffee mug and the tote that, that Tracy just showed. Um, I'm probably going to be getting a, 
a mouse pad. I really like the mouse pad. I think that's a good idea. So, and yeah. the, the designs are also available. If there's another item on the website that you like that isn't listed in the store, you can transfer the, the logo, the design onto another product. Um, but the, I mean, they'll only really look good on light colored products. So just keep that in mind, but you can, you can also transfer it to other items if you, if you so desire to do that. Okay. And then why don't you explain real quick about the fundraising thing or how okay. that's not the intention of it? Yeah, no, none of these things are being sold for profit. So the, the whole point of me creating this was because that the reason why it got started is because Allie wanted a Mammothon t-shirt to wear during the Mammothon. And so I was like, oh, we can make a whole bunch of stuff in, in case other people want um, want mementos. Allie had said that. She was like, "I what if other people want one of these? And so I created it for them. And when I was creating the store, my original intention was to set it up so that there would be, they would everything would be being sold at cost. Well, it wouldn't let me do that. <laughs> so it required me to put in a the amount of profit that I wanted the the store to earn per item. So the lowest amount that I can put was five percent. So like you know, a, a t-shirt got sold and the I can pull up the thing, but it's it's something like, you know, 48 cents or something for this one item. And they won't even distribute the money, like the profit money, until it's reached $50, unless you pay a fee. And I don't even know that it's going to reach $50. It might, though. You never know. However, um, anything that comes in off of sales of this stuff, and nobody has access to this but me. Um, anything that comes in will be, I will split it in half and I will send it to the guys. I'm not keeping any of it. Nobody, it's not going to anybody. It's not going to be given to anybody else. Not one penny of it will be kept by or given to anybody but Brendan and Stephen, period. And I will keep records of everything. So okay. That and right now we're talking, it's just a few dollars, right? It's $7 right now. <laughs> okay. Seven whole dollars. <laughs> does nothing compared to the marathon man right so we, <laughs> we just want to make sure we put that out there that yeah. we have you had to put something down um they, yeah. they need to do that and it's making pennies uh, you know for each thing that's sold and eventually it when it accumulates then it'll go to the boys well here's your five bucks <laughs> yeah the, here's your five bucks exactly so 2400 and then five dollars <laughs> <laughs> exactly but, but no i have no interest in keeping any of this money at all no. No. And uh, yeah, it's such a, such a small amount that nobody should be worrying about it. But the, mm -hmm. the, the intended, uh, the intent of the store was so that some of us that were doing Mammothon could, I said, wear a t-shirt or get some mementos for ourselves. And that's the only reason why we did it. But there are some other people that might want to get some stuff too. Yeah. So it's there if I'll, you want to. Yeah. It's if an not, option if you want to. It. Yeah. It's not, we're not pushing it because again, there's no really money being raised from it or anything. It's more just a, Hey, if you if you if you want to want to get a cool shirt and, and I think it is cool of course I think that the graphics are cool so yeah the graphics are are pretty awesome thank you Falcon <laughs> seven dollars is like 50 hours work for them it might even be more than that but you're quite yeah, right yeah it is that's how ridiculous it is I mean I understand they're in prison and you know they don't but still it's like how can you expect them to purchase things when they're making pennies on the dollar? You you need to have outside sources for money. Yeah. And if you and have, I, now neither Brendan or Steve have any restitution that they have to pay, but if a prisoner has restitution, that commissary money goes towards the restitution, restitution first. Or, or a portion of it goes towards restitution, right. I should say. A certain percentage does. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's, it's really sad for people who don't have a support system at all that, they really, they really, um, it's hard for them to be able to get anything. Steve and Brendan are lucky that they can afford to get a TV and a radio and a tablet and, you know, watch movies and do things like that. Um, because not a lot of prisoners are able to even afford those things. Right. Linda, I want a necktie too. <laughs> Linda wants a necktie. You know, I used to have this dress that had a collar on it and it was a button down the front dress and I used to wear a tie with it all the time. Who says girls can't, can't wear ties? 
It seems like a very 80s thing to wear a tie. I don't know. <laughs> For a woman. Maybe I'm stuck in the 80s. I don't care. <laughs> the 80s had its moments, you know? The fashion was a little bizarre, but you know, the, the 80s mm -hmm. had its moments. Yes, it did. Linda wants to get a shirt and a tote bag. And yeah, I said the that tote, tote bag, bag looks great. Yeah, and it's 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 heavy. It's canvas, so it's pretty heavy. It's not like just a soft linen. It's a canvas bag. Uh, Marty said, "Get fifteen percent off today with code Saturday Party." Yes, fifteen percent off. They have coupon codes all the time. And if you join, they have a free trial of their Razzle Black program, which means you get free standard shipping. Just cancel it before it run before they actually charge you. It's a free trial. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. So I got free yep. shipping. Ray wants to know what's next for the boys. I guess the rally, Stephen supplemental motion. Well, the rally, obviously, again, June 15th um, in Manitowoc. I hope to see a lot more people there. I, I didn't push the rally as much as I would have liked to during Manitowoc because we were so busy, you know, with the donations and, and everything else. I really hope we get a better turnout for the rally this year. I, it's such a hard thing to get people to travel to, to come to this, um, but I really hope we get more people this, this year. Um, so that's that's obviously coming up. Other than that, we're just waiting on the judge. So we have to wait for the judge. Why do you get uh, messages keep getting retracted? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Um, the the link to the rally, uh, Fen just posted it in the chat, the rally page. So I join that if you're interested in attending the rally. And I said, other than that, for Steve, we're just, we're waiting on the judge to make a decision and then we'll go from there. There's really not much to say, obviously, um, because we're just kind of in hold mode. Brendan is still, is just going to be holding tight until, probably until there's some resolution with Steve's appeal, but he will, his lawyers are working on and will be filing a petition for post-conviction relief um, in the state court uh, eventually. Just don't know when they're going to do that. And let's see, I don't really, I didn't want to really uh, be on too long. I didn't have a whole lot to say other than to, to give everybody the final amount for the donations, to thank everybody. One other thing is that if you have any feedback from Amazon, I would love to hear it. Um, what you did like, maybe what you didn't like, things we could improve on. Don't change a thing, you know, whatever. Um, anybody, I mean, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. I've gotten so many private messages from people um, that loved it, that didn't sleep either that weekend. <laughs> a lot of people didn't get any sleep that weekend. People were going through mammothon withdrawals by Monday, which I can understand because I think I was going through it a little bit myself, even though I was relieved to not have to talk anymore. <laughs> 13 hours is a long time in one weekend to be on not for Allie because she does that all the time yeah but she just did that again last night but for me 13 hours is a long time and surprisingly we didn't have any trouble um you know filling the time i thought I'd, there'd be a lot of dead time but there really wasn't everybody kept the conversations going so i'd still love to hear from people you know i said i got a lot of positive messages you know so um, yeah, I've got another four and a half hours to go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Eric was going to kill me because he's going on later. So it's, it'll be like four hours probably between him and I. Maybe we'll get close to that. Or at least an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Uh, thank you, Trey. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Didn't you see, oh, no, Batman. I, Linda, I don't even know what you're saying. It's all great. Only thing to change is that Linda doesn't have a migraine and no family emergency. Yeah, that's too bad. But that's the good thing about everything being archived is that you can go back and watch, you know, later you can watch it again. You can, you know, um, I know Eric Jose did this and I did this with my interview with Michael Cicchini or Cicchini, sorry, said his wrong name wrong. Cicchini is that I pulled out just that interview with him to post. I do intend to pull out some of the other interviews. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. So I want to pull out Julie's presentation on um, critical thinking and fallacies. And I want to pull out my daughter's um, interview or whatever that was, chat with her. I want to pull that out too because that was at the end of my segment. And I want to make sure people get to see that. Yes, Amy. Eric. Yeah, okay, so 25 minutes. He has, a, he has a premiere. So we've got to be off in 25 minutes. Hi, Seeking wants, Truth. Annie wants to know if there's a time limit on the judge. I'm sorry. 
the judge has 90 days. The, the court of appeals did not give a set time. When it was remanded for the CD issue, the court of appeals specifically said 60 days. They did not do that this time. So the Supreme Court rules say that a judge has 90 days to rule on any motion in front of them. They are allowed to take another 90 days if they need to, but that won't happen. She won't need another 90 days. So I'm just putting it that, that, that they are allowed to do that, but that won't happen. Uh, most likely it would be within uh, 60 days. And there is some question about when the 60 days starts because normally it would start whenever the briefing has concluded. But in this case, since the judge didn't specifically request um, the state to respond, that might not be included. Like the time might start just from when the supplemental motion was filed. But we don't know because we don't know if the judge would have requested it if they hadn't sent it themselves. So, so there's no set deadline because we're not sure when the clock would start because of that fact. How significant is it that the judge didn't ask the state for anything? Well, that's the problem is that we don't know if she would have or wouldn't have. Um, I think she would have made the request earlier personally, but we don't know. It would be very significant if we knew for sure she wasn't going to ask for it because that would mean a denial. She can't, she can't approve it without hearing from the state. So if she had no intention of asking for a response, that means that she's going to deny it. She can deny it without hearing from the other side, but she can't grant it. So it would have been nice to know. Yes, on the motion about the bones. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Fenn and Travis asked if you can announce the totals again. The what? The totals. The totals again. Okay, let's see. Let me get that up again. The total we raised in donations was $5,069.84. We had GoFundMe fees that were taken out that were $111.22. And then there are access handling fees for the deposits. And that is $139.10. So that means that the total we have to distribute is $4,819.52 or $2,409.76 per guy <laughs> for each one of them yay so close to twenty five hundred dollars which is That's just again amazing so amazing it's so amazing it's it's just incredible it's still hard to think about i i was happy last year when i when i was able to give uh, steve 725 dollars for the tote bag sales i thought that was awesome so <laughs> i i outdid myself i don't know what i'm gonna have to come up with next year to top five thousand dollars yeah good luck with that <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> I have some good ideas, but I might have, I might have like reached my limit here. <laughs> I don't know. I have faith in you. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't know what I'll have to do next time. Um, so I'm just happy this turned out as well as it did. Again, I, I'm honored to be a part of it. I think, I don't know why anybody would want to watch me for 13 hours, but Hey, whatever. <laughs> Obviously some people did want to. So um, whatever. I hope that it was educational and that people, even people that have been around, this whole time that we're able to learn something. And again, there were a lot of people who've been around a long time that were able to help educate those who haven't been. So there was there was a lot, there was a lot of upsides to the event. Not too many downsides. Not any really. Yeah, <laughs> other than fantastic. No, yeah, other than no sleep for a lot of people. Right. <laughs> that was the only downside. But you know, sometimes was, that's fun. Makes you feel totally young again. It, yeah. Not a problem. <laughs> I can sleep when I'm dead. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, <laughs> It, yeah, it catching up on my sleep afterward um, took me a while. It took me a couple of days actually to catch up on it, but the small price to pay. Yeah, I said we have to thank everybody, everybody that participated in any way. Some people might think that um, just watching and not doing, not sharing, not donating, not not chatting might you know mean they didn't really do anything. You did though. You still watch. You're getting information, and so that when you do choose to talk about this case with somebody or chat about this case somewhere, you will have the best information to share with people. The number of views was almost 23,000? Yes, just under 23,000. Yeah. Yeah, and, and T1 said not bad for 48 hours, and no, not bad at all. Not too shabby. Right. And yeah, yes. I heard a lot of people say that they learned a lot from it. Right. And then some of them were people that have been around for a long time. Exactly. The thing is, is that some people are only on Facebook. Some people are only on Twitter. 
you know, some people are only on Reddit. And that's what we tried to do. We tried to combine people from all three mediums to, 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 you know, share their knowledge of what they know and what they've learned. Um, obviously from the Facebook groups, the biggest thing is that people just discuss general case discussion. Um, I contribute the legal stuff. So that was my contribution from Facebook. And then we have so many people that were there on Twitter and Reddit that came and shared their, their research, their findings, you know, the sleuthing they've done, um, the documents they've, they've, um, hunted down and, and received and they shared all this stuff with everybody. And so even people that have been around for a while, you know, learned some new things. I hope they should have, if they were listening at least. And, uh, in addition to the YouTube playlist that Julie put together, she also put together a list of just a listing of who was all on, um, what guests were on, what the discussion, um, was for each segment. So that can be helpful too, if you're looking for something in particular. Oh, I just mentioned it again. Julie can post the playlist again. There's a YouTube playlist that Julie put together of all the, all the live streams. So you can just play that playlist and you'll be with us for 24 hours or 48 hours, <laughs> 49 hours, 49 hours, yeah. 49 hours, a little more, I think. Let me. Eric Hosey said, I would say there was a crowd of about two to 3000 folks moving from live to live. There were, I mean, there was, even after we were doing the live, sometimes we'd only have, you know, 140 people and, and then people would come in and come out, but then we'd have 2000 views, you know, on the video afterward. So a lot of people were watching, you know, them after we ended and, and yeah, a lot of people did move with us. I saw the same people in a lot of the chats that uh, did not sleep either, apparently. <laughs> Henberry said he would sing with Brandon if it got to 4.5K. <laughs> that needs to be done. Technically, we got over that. We, <laughs> we did. Got, we got to 5,000. We did. Okay, so you were just talking about the uh, YouTube playlist. So I'm going to post that link again. I was getting them together. I didn't have them ready to paste. My bad. Mod fail. <laughs> um, <Your excuse. laughs> and here's the long link for the just the list. I haven't shortened it yet. I probably should do that. Um, so the first link is the playlist. That's on YouTube. And that second link is a PDF list of all of the videos and like the title of the video and, and who it was and the link to the video. Awesome. And yeah, I can't even name everybody that was on. There was the list is quite long. Oh, OK. So T1 is saying so this money will be distributed slowly to the guys, not all at once. Hate for them to be targeted by other inmates if their canteen balance gets out. Okay, so the, I, I, I was going to mention this and I actually forgot. I actually made the first deposit today. Brendan told me to deposit $300 a week, um, but I have to make nine deposits. I don't want to be responsible for this money for nine weeks. So I will probably make a deposit every day and it's fine. Nobody knows the balance of their, their canteen accounts except for them. And uh, nobody's going to bother Steve. Steve is, uh, Steve's pretty secure where he is and he's not going to, nobody's going to be pestering him for money. I mean, they've already gone through this. There was a, a kind of a, a wave of, of donations after the first making a murder and then another wave of donations after making a murder too, where they probably had close to these amounts at one time. And Brendan's in medium security now. So I'm, I'm not too concerned about him either about being bullied into using their commissary money or anything like that, but nobody would know what the balance is except for them. And so, okay, so there's a limit. You can only deposit $300 at one time. Um, I actually had to use two different credit cards in, in order to make $300 deposits for both of them. But I made the first deposit today. And again, it'll take nine deposits. So nine days and then they'll, they'll have all of their money. And I do have, I, I, cap, I screenshot the receipts from today. I actually have them um, up in our Google Drive. And so if anyone really wants to keep tabs on us, you know, I'd be happy to share the link where 
it shows the the deposit receipts. I'm saving that actually for the guys because I told them I would give them a deposit schedule along with the receipts after all is said and done, just so they know and break down the the totals for them. No, you um, no, you cannot send emails to Brendan. Brendan um, has to approve somebody first before they can send him an email. Yes, thank you. Thank you to Julie for being with me again. I, she's spoiling me because I'm so used to her being here helping me now. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, but also thank you to all the mods. Um, obviously, we had um, uh, Julie and Fen and Linda were pretty much in all my lives. And then we had uh, Sharon and Ziggy and Roll and uh, uh, Denise and who else? My gosh, I'm, I'm going to draw a blank on everybody. I, I was half asleep most of the time. So. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever mod I'm forgetting, but we had a lot of them and they were on top of everything. And uh, like I said, that, you know, um, next time we do this, if we do this again soon, we don't have to worry about putting so much pressure on the mods to get all the links out there and everything. It'll just be for fun. Maybe we can do a 24 hour one. Uh, who knows? Yeah. Soon. Linda and Jamie. Bye, Linda. I don't think Eric Cozy's <laughs> been live yet, but. Has justice been forgiven for eating the headphones? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes, she has. Oh, of course she has. She's a spoiled <laughs> little thing. She was she was actually right on top of me when I was first trying to go live. <laughs> she wanted I, to be in the video. I stayed, I stayed here because I figured maybe she'd make an appearance and she was like right in front of me. <laughs> and so I had to make her get off, but then she now she's being stubborn and won't come by me. Hey, justice, come here. Justice. She just yeah. walked by me and gave me a look. Rude. She should come see us. I know. Usually she does. And she was right in the beginning, but then I, I had to kind of push her away so I could get the feed going. And then she. Uh, Travis wants justice. And he wants it I want it now. Justice, come here. She's going to be stubborn. She's not going to listen to me. Aw. Puppy. Puppy. She says, no, mom, <laughs> you're talking to those people again and you're not paying attention to mm -hmm. She was so angry with me after Mammothon because she just kept scratching at the door and I wouldn't let her in. And she was so angry. And that's when she ate my headphones. So yeah. that was payback. <laughs> She's a vengeful little thing. <laughs> okay, Linda. Well, I'll see you over in Ericozzi's chat then. See you in a minute, Linda. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Paula. Yes. Push like. Please like and please share and please, please subscribe. Subscribe. I don't know what my numbers are at now. I need to get to a thousand if I want to be able to live stream from the rally. You're at 919 from what I see. Okay. See, I don't even know. Julie knows what I, what's going on in my life more than I do. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know about that. We need to have a, we need to have a marathon weekend to, to get you and Stacy and Paul enough subscribers. So yes. Let's have a marathon weekend to just do that. Next. I think I got a, Around 200 new ones from Mammothon. I thought we'd get to a thousand, but not quite. So hopefully, we don't have that many watching now. So, but um, yeah, it would be nice to get to a thousand mm -hmm. before uh, the rally. Even though my phone dies in like five seconds, so I'll probably only be able to do one video. <laughs> uh, oh, you <laughs> know, it was terrible. Portable chargers. My son has one of those. I, yeah. My husband has one, and I I already asked him about it, but I have to actually remember to bring it with me. Last time, if anybody's ever heard us talk about the Belgians, <laughs> Stephen and Sita, Stephen actually had a portable charger. And so he would let me use that. Um, but that's the only reason I was able to do anything because my battery is just terrible right now. It dies so fast. <laughs> T1, be sure to leave your DNA on the like and subscribe buttons, everyone. <laughs> Push to subscribe to you. Yes. Oh, and that's the other thing. Thank you, Travis. My Facebook group, the Basically a Lawyer Facebook group is now um, available again. So if anybody, I think just about everybody in this chat is already in it. But if you wanted to, to join and you couldn't find it before because it was secret, it is now back to being closed. So you can search for it and you can join it. Request to join again now. Anybody watching this back will see the link in the chat. Right. So they'll be able to, to go to it then. So I'm going to wrap this up because Eric Hosey is going to be starting soon. 
I am actually not going to be around much this next week. I will be in Syracuse because my amazing daughter that so many of you got to meet <laughs> um, is graduating a week from today, again with her master's in medical legal death investigation. So I will be heading to Syracuse, I believe on Saturday. I mean, I mean, on, well, I believe on Wednesday and her graduation is on Saturday. So I won't be home till Monday. So, you know, of course the court's probably gonna rule on something <laughs> while I'm gone. Cause they always do that when you're not. They always do that. So if they do, I will be taking my laptop with me, and uh, I will I will go live to the best of my ability while I'm busy doing other things. But um, yeah, but I'm not sure. So again, if you don't see me around for the next week, that's why I'm busy with some cool real life stuff. Got to get the kid graduated. Thank you, thank you, Brenda. Um, yeah, I uh, hi Jane. We're just wrapping up here. Yeah, we need the uh, Stacy Seabrook also needs some subscriptions. We would like him to be able to play some music for us at the rally. Yes. And again, he needs to have a thousand subscribers before he can live stream. So please subscribe to Stacy's channel as well. We're all just posted the link. If any of you cannot see Rule's link, let me know. Sometimes links posted from somebody who's not a mod, it won't show to everybody. Jane, the total again, okay, I'll do this one more time before we wrap up. I gotta get, I have to pull up the screen again, because you know, I don't remember everything. The total amount of donations was $5,069.84. We had to take out GoFundMe fees, which was $111.22. We also had to take out the access handling fees for when we make the deposit, which is $139.10. So that leaves us with a total of $4,819.52. And divided by two, each guy will be receiving $2,409.76. And I already made the first deposits of $300 to each of them today. Yay. Yay. Nope, never tired of hearing those numbers. I know, it's really, it's really great. It makes me so happy every time. Well, you can be a mod if you want. I'll add you. <laughs> yeah, we smashed the total. We, we originally said, yes, we did. And Jane, I had said earlier that um, one person after Marathon was over, uh, uh, Ravi, uh, she lives in Australia. She donated $935. She made a donation of $935, which pushed us over the $5,000 mark. So Yay, Ravi. It, was, it was amazing. It was amazing. And I, I don't want to minimize anybody else because so many people donated. And and but still that that one donation was was just huge. Very unexpected and very much appreciated. Okay, is there anything else before I wrap it up? Because we can head over to Eric Jose's channel then. Because we know he's gonna be on time, right? <laughs> Tracy's got jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, don't. I, I thought about that before, Russell, but it was already, we were almost done already. I was going to say, make sure you select oh, live chat for top chat. Crap. And I thought Dude, about it. Before. I failed again. That's like, <laughs> I thought about it about that, five minutes ago. And I was like, well, it's too late now. That's like my, my catchphrase. Remember to switch <laughs> to live chat and I totally dropped the ball. Thanks for pointing out my inadequacies, Russ. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, that's even. Every time I was going to start a live stream, that's one of the things I had in my head to, to say in the beginning, and I forgot every single time. <laughs> I had it at the top of my links page that I was copying from so that I would never forget. But I'm not looking at that now, so now, I, now I'm forgetting. No, but, but it's, it's no, Russell, it's just funny because I, I, I just thought about it a few minutes ago, and I was like, well, too late now. All corners watching this live, please kick KK to see if this zombie is still alive. Yeah, I still can't believe he said that. Anybody around him just kick him. Yeah. Why not? I still can't believe he said that. The coroners of Wisconsin will not be throwing a party for him anytime soon. No. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> really, there's no other word. What a jerk he is. Just way to disrespect an entire profession. Travis said, good night. Thanks for the great news and the transparency. You have set a high bar on how to do things right. And I think I am, I am just going to have to quit. I'm going to have to quit because I can't top it. I can't top that. 
<laughs> and you don't have to top it. All of I, it really, I, really, I really went a little far for that. Like I said the tote bags was $725 and then this goes, I go to 5,000. It was like, oh boy. Hey, never yeah, underestimate I, a large group of peach people who are passionate about something. I peach too soon. <laughs> <laughs> But that's because they're going to be released before next year. So, hey, we they don't are. have to. Worry about it. Yeah, we won't have to. It'll be good. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, then we are going to wrap it up. Okay. So, thank you again to everybody. And I will uh, talk to you all probably when I get back from Syracuse. But if not, if the court rules earlier than that, then I will talk to you then. So, everybody enjoy the rest of your Saturday night and head on over to Eric Hose's channel where I don't know exactly what he's doing tonight. I think he has Scooby on. But whatever he's doing, Think he'll be so. starting. He'll be starting soon. So I will see you guys over there. All right. I Bye. will post a link. Bye, everybody.